You talk big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't kill you! So be it. <laughs> <laughs> If I devour you, you'll be one again anyway! The compass! She isn't! Yours! <laughs> velvet is Velvet! And you're just a fragment of me! So that was your strategy. Hey! Give us more warning! You almost roasted us alive! You've really done it now. I'll turn you into a dragon. See who's left in this! We're leaving! Hurry! <laughs> they got away. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that... I so long as you learn from your mistake. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within you. And they are fast asleep. I'm going after them. No. Not now. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. However, he used to be known as the mo You, capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First... First? Kill him. Kill Lafiset before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. <laughs> <laughs>